everybody. Welcome back to Connecticut Style. We have in our studios right now a man who's bringing the party. We call him Velarde Party. It's always a party with Velarde. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thanks. Always fun to be here. And it's so exciting because over the weekend you had an opportunity to catch up with a really cool guy. Yep. American Idol former contestant Bo Bice. Finished second yes. in season four. Finished behind Carrie Underwood. He was in town uh, doing a gig this past weekend in Norfolk. Okay, right. And so he stopped by our studios uh, over the weekend. And he's had an interesting, really interesting career. He was one of the old guys on American Idol. He was. <laughs> if I can say that. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you're 28 and you're auditioning for American Idol, you are. You're, you're one of the old guys. You're, you're at the end. And he really was a, a trend setter because he was kind of the first rock guy. He was right. before Chris Daughtry. He was before David Cook, who got on to some pretty good pop success as a rocker. He was one of the first. And when we were talking earlier, you said he really wanted to bring that element to American Idol. He really wanted to be that trendsetter, that trailblazer. Yeah. So mixing it with like, what is it, a little bit of country and that rock element. That southern rock is his thing. In fact, if you watch his very first American Idol interview and audition. You know, the one where you're in the hotel in front of the judges for the first time. Right. And you can find it on YouTube. He says, I want to bring a little rock, a little blues, and a little soul to American mm. Idol. He wanted to stay true to his musical roots, and he did that. What surprised you most about the overall interview? I know we're going to get into that in just a second, but w what did you take away in terms of being surprised by him? He was just real laid back, real cool, real laid back, and, and real comfortable with who he is as, as a person and as a musician. But mm. obviously, you know, when you're talking to somebody like that, you have to start, as we did, by asking him about his time on American Idol. We had a lot of fun on the show. You know, it was such an honor to be a part of that alumni. And uh, I had a great time, uh, you know, every step of the way in that process. So I'm very grateful for Idol. You did two albums, and you got another one coming out uh, right. fairly soon, before the, before the summertime. Yeah. How has your music changed from the first album to what we're going to hear in the album that comes out uh, in the summer? Well, I think, you know, for the most part, it... Uh, has developed the first album the real thing was more of a pop oriented album you know um, with rca clive davis produced that yep. and uh then the second album see the light was more of a kind of southern rock i think what people were more expecting of Bo, the southern rock style kind of uh, stuff and then right. this new album is an extension of that with a little bit more of the uh, americana roots and uh just some really good singer songwriter story type songs uh, mixed with, you know, the, the typical Bo Bice rockin' and rollin' kind of southern stuff. You're taking a little break from what has been a, an acoustic tour that you're doing right now. What's it like to do that kind of, those venues and do the acoustic thing? Well, we've been playing uh, several theaters and things like that. Some of these we hit up uh, the last two years. I do this once a year. Normally it's in January and February. I'll go out and do from eight to 12 dates yeah. of acoustic stuff. And for me, it's just getting back in, into the, the kind of swing of where I was before Idol. This is what I used to do, sit on a, a bar stool and, and play music, and then I would play with my band on the weekends. So um, it's the more intimate kind of venues from the theaters and things like that that we yeah. get to do. So a little bit more connection with the audience and with the crowd. And also we get to de uh, debut some of the new music and stuff for them that uh, hasn't been heard yet. Which is kind of cool to really to get that feedback from the audience firsthand. Talk yep. a little about your influences, particularly your family, your, your parents. Well, you know, my parents are a big part of my music. My, my mother was always singing around the house and, and cleaning and, and things like while she cleaned and things like that and just uh, a big part of music there. Uh, but my dad wasn't a guitar player or, <laughs> or a singer and uh, he always played the radio. So he uh, grew me up it's on the good instrument. stuff. That's the easiest one to play. Yeah, but your mom pushed you to, to, to audition in the first place for Idol. She right? did. It was uh, it was really a bet between my mom and I, you know. And uh, who won? She's, uh, I'm I'm not really I think sure. You both yet. won. Really? I think we both kind of equaled uh, equaled the scales right there, leveled the scales. But uh, it worked out good. And you know, I'm I love my mom and my dad. Thank you for for raising me right. And uh, <laughs> just real real proud of the the road traveled thus far. Real quick, before we let you play, words of encouragement to aspiring singer-songwriters. You know, I always tell people, um, just don't ever give up. If you love what you do and you believe in it and uh, you really feel in your heart that that's what you're meant to do, just don't ever let anybody tell you the word can't. And get up every day and work as hard as you possibly can. And, uh, you know, there's going to be good, bad, and ugly that come <laughs> along with it. And just take it with a grain of salt and never give up. Practice, practice practice.
<laughs> wow, what a great interview. Yeah. Practice, practice, practice is really good advice. Never give up for anything you do. Wow, my what, goodness. What you didn't see, by the way, in addition to the performance, which you can see this weekend on yes. Good Morning Connecticut, so make sure you tune in. Uh, but in addition to that, his dog, Sally. He's was hanging out the whole time, <laughs> hung out throughout the, throughout the whole performance as well, right at his feet. He was tapping uh, his toes during the performance, and I thought he was going to step on Stal Sally's nose, and, and he didn't. I know everybody was raving about the dog. I have yeah. got to know because I know he's a fairly large family. He's got How two does boys. He manage it all? Yeah, he's got two boys and one on the way. In fact, uh, this acoustic show, and he had one more uh, after the one on Saturday in Norfolk, Connecticut. He was cutting it short, cutting the tour short because he had to go home for the birth of his third son. Oh wow! Bless his wife's heart. He's, I mean, that's a that's a full house. Yeah, and he says it's tough to leave to go to go on these road trips, except that whenever he can, he tries to take the family with him. Oh, which that, is kind of cool. Too, though. But he said his oldest son, when the bus comes, uh, pulls up, and some of his friends start to show up, some of his friends in the van, he knows daddy's going away for a little while. Aww. The dog, however, dog comes the dog on those is trips. Going. The dog is the going dog on is those going. trips. Yeah. Now I want to ask you a little bit about how it is for him for his first album to have been, you know, influenced by Clive right. versus his second album. What did you talk about in terms of like where he's gone musically? We were talking a little off the air as well about that. Is you know. Coming off American Idol, where Clive Davis kind of discovered him, was a guest judge on one of the shows that he performed on, he, he kind of felt like he had to do the pop thing. It was okay. what was going to get him some radio airplay. Now that he's made a name for himself to some degree, he can go back to his roots, and he mm -hmm. can go back and do that Southern rock, that Americana, that singer-songwriter stuff. Alabama boy. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Really humbly seemed. He looked like he really just Real enjoyed being on the set and just really relaxed. Good guy. Yeah. Uh, we had, we had a, lot, a lot of fun. And again, you can hear the performance. You can hear Bo Bice sing one of his original songs coming up this week on Good Morning Connecticut. All right. Well, stay tuned for that. Thanks so much, Chris. You bet. Rock. Anytime. Always a party with the lardy. <laughs>